Hi and welcome. My name is Lawrence Baker and this video is going to be about plugins inside of Lightroom. Now plugins basically extend the functionality of Lightroom. There's published plugins, export plugins, developed plugins and utility plugins. Now utility plugins can also um, be used, let's say, for sorting images by focal length, etc, etc. So they are quite unusual and there's only one person I know who creates those plugins and that's a person called Jeffrey Friedel. More of him later. Let's get one misconception out of the way now, and that is that a developed preset is some kind of plugin. It isn't. Let's go to the develop module by pressing D on my keyboard. Now, if I move these sliders around and like what I see, I can come across the presets, click on the plus icon, give it a name, decide what folder I want to save it under, tick the boxes that are relevant to the changes I've made on the right, and click create. Right, that's a developed preset. Back to loop view in the library module by pressing E on my keyboard. Underneath my published plugins, I have find more services online. If I click on this, you think I'm going to see plugins. Well, in fact, I'm seeing add-ons, which now encompass plugins, presets, and extensions as far as Photoshop goes. As far as Lightroom goes, it's just plugins and presets. Now, presets are developed presets. Most of what's here is a developed preset. There's only three plugins. Now, as you can see, developed presets are very easy to create, whereas a plugin requires you to be a software developer and understand Lightroom. So there's a huge amount of difference. And I'm not saying you shouldn't buy presets. What I'm saying is if you do buy them, learn from where the sliders are gone, what, what's happened, because just using a preset is taking away your creativity, basically. Um, I'm running them down slightly, but if you want to buy them, buy them. Right, let's go back to Lightroom. Let's go and see export plugins under File and Export. Now, these will be export plugins. Now, where do we manage our plugins from? Well, we should manage them from the Plugin Manager. But before I go there, there's one little heads up. This is a Twitter plugin under the export facility, but it can publish to Twitter, but it's not a publish plugin. Publish plugins can only appear here. So let's close that down and go to File, Plugin Manager, which is the normal route for getting to the Plugin Manager. What does the Plugin Manager do? It can add a plugin, remove a plugin, if it's not one that's shipped with Lightroom, the ones that ship with Lightroom cannot be removed. It can show it to you in Finder. It can reload it or disable it. Simple as that. So if I wanted to add a third party plugin in, I would have to come to the plugin manager and add it in. So if I downloaded it from somewhere like 500px or Jeffrey Friedel, I would have to come to the plugin manager to add it in. Now the plugin manager can also be accessed from right clicking on a header and going to edit settings here, and you'll see the plugin manager down there. So the plugin manager just stores the plugins and manages them, reloads them, shows them in Finder, etc., etc. Now, under Publish Plugins, if I right-click on a header here and go Edit Settings, I can edit the settings of the plugin, the sizes, etc. Now, I'm not going to cover this now because every plugin is different, but you get the idea, guys. Something you're probably not used to seeing is this Post Process Actions here, and they are um, export add-ons, so to speak, or publish add-ons, and I'll cover them in a minute. And you won't often see them unless you get your plugins from this guy called Jeffrey Friedel. So let's cancel that down. So I've got export and publish plugins and utility plugins and export add-ons, etc. As far as Lightroom is concerned, they're all plugins. Right. There's another little heads up before we go anywhere as well. Right clicking on the header and going to create another publish service via Flickr will allow you to create another publish service, give it a name, etc, etc, and still use the same plugin. But let's say you've got two accounts, which I have on Flickr and two accounts on Facebook, just right clicking and creating another publish service is a great way of having more than one account. Right, let's go and look at Jeffrey Friedel's site. Now, Jeffrey Friedel used to work for Adobe. He now resides in Japan. He's an American living in Japan. And what he does is he makes his living out of creating 
uh, Lightroom plugins. Now these plugins are far more fully featured than anything you get that ships with Lightroom, let's say. And there's not many people out there competing with him. Now his plugins can seem quite intimidating at first because Jeffrey gives you a lot of bells and whistles. But I suggest you start off with his simple publish and export plugins first and start looking at the add-ons like Metadata Wrangler, which will allow you or, make, or give you the facility to decide how much metadata you're giving someone like Twitter or Facebook. A little bit of a heads up here. Facebook and Twitter, for instance, will delete all your metadata from your photograph. Now, you might use that metadata, I don't know. Uh, but my attitude is, if they're going to strip it out, I'm not going to give it to them in the first place. So I don't give them any metadata. And the Metadata Wrangler add-on will um, give me that facility to do that. Now, let me go back to Lightroom quickly, just to refresh your memory. If I right-click on um, JF Facebook here, which is Jeffrey's um, plugin, that's where these post-process actions are. They're not really post-process actions. What they actually are is part of the plugin. So if I want to insert that metadata wrangler in, all I have to do is click on insert, not on the header bit, on this bit, and go insert, and that add-on will be available to me. Now, I'm not going to run through the this, this post-process action or um, plugin because it's very fully featured. And don't be intimidated by his plugins, as I said, because it's well worth sticking with them. And if you're serious about photography and, you know, how you interact with online social media, I, I recommend these plugins totally. Now, there's something called utility plugins as well. And some of these just extend the functionality of Lightroom, like you can sort by focal length, etc. Now, I'm not going to run you through all of these because I'll be here all day. But what I am going to do is download one of these plugins and show you how you get it into Lightroom. So let's try um, SmugMug. Now, I don't want to read all the gumph. All I want to do is download the zip file. My system will automatically unzip it for me and it will be in my downloads folder. So I need to go to Finder on a Mac or Explorer on Windows. Find my downloads folder or wherever you download your stuff to. There's Smug Mug. Now, this is very important. Lightroom always needs access to this plugin and it's got the extension .lr plugin. So I suggest you copy it to a folder that you are going to keep safe. So I'm going to Command or Control C on that, go to Documents, Lightroom Plugins. Now I've created this uh, folder inside my Documents folder, Command V or Control V, and there it is available to me there. I now go back to Lightroom, File, Plugin Manager, Add, um, is it Smug Mug? Add plugin. Now it straight away appears there, ready for setting up. Setting up is very straightforward, by the way. Um, often it will invoke your browser, etc., etc., and prompt you, and it's very, very straightforward. So that's me added a published plugin. Simple as that. Now I don't actually want that plugin, so I'm going to remove it. Now, how do you pay Jeffrey? Now, Jeffrey, let me find a better plugin here, like JF Flickr. That's, I've already registered that. Let's, let's find the um, GF Facebook. I haven't registered yet. Processing is now limited to 10 images at a time because I've gone through the 42 days um, trial period. So I, I can only process 10 images at once. Now, that might not, not be a problem for me, but this guy is doing a lot of effort to create these plugins. Give him a few dollars. I mean, he accepts anything from one cent or greater. So register here. For details, visit the registration page. Register via PayPal if you're outside Japan. You don't need a PayPal account. You just need a card of some sort. If you've got a PayPal account, you can log in. One cent or greater will give you full access to his plugin. Back to Lightroom. This would all be automatic, but then you would have this code which you would uh, stick into here and register the plugin. It's not done via Jeffrey, it's done via the servers. They basically give you this code and you set the um, plugin up. Now, it could be unfortunate that Lightroom might be due for an upgrade, and if it is due for an upgrade, he might have to rewrite the plugin. So you either stay with your old version of Lightroom or you might have to give him another donation for a new plugin cr created for the latest version of Lightroom. That's really it about plugins. I'm not going to cover any other plugins here because um, developed plugins, as I say, invoke almost an application like uh, HDRFX Pro 2. There's 
um, Adobe add-ons, which encompasses um, plugins, extensions, and also presets. Now, develop presets, anyone could create. A 10-year-old child can do it. I'm not I'm running them down too much, but I, I would say to you, try and move the sliders yourself. It's the best way to learn. Plugins are written by software developers, and they're managed via the plugin manager. You either delete them, uh, or remove them, I should say, add them in their third-party ones. You can reload the plugin, show where it is and find it, or disable it. If you right-click here on the publish ones, you can edit the settings or duplicate it to um, the plugin, so you can have more than one account. Export plugins obviously come under file and export. And again, you can use all these um, post-process actions, which are in fact just plugins. Um, very straightforward, really. I can't think of anything else to say about plugins, except use Jeffrey Friedel if you're serious about uh, Lightroom. And obviously, I'll put a link down below. Thanks very much.